Well, hello, everybody. So being that this is in Litchfield County, I thought it'd be fun to start a ride from this little back road. Uh, John Brown's birthplace is on John Brown Road in Torrington, Connecticut, on the west side of Torrington, uh, very close to the Goshen border. And uh, the house is not here anymore. It, uh, the picture of it shows a really beautiful little salt box. I'm sorry that it's been lost. Uh, the picture of John Brown, boy, what a strange looking man. Um, sort of an interesting character, but uh, he left Connecticut pretty early on, uh, but this is the site of where he was born. And more than anything for me, it, it means a really nice back road ride. My trick on this ride is to go from this spot in Torrington all the way to my house without really going on a main road. I, I have to do a little bit on Route 4, and I have to cross both 63 and 202, but it's really less than an eighth of a mile on a main road. Um, it's the part of the afternoon, so there may be a little bit of going into the sunlight. Um, there were a lot of abolitionists in Litchfield County uh, Harriet Beecher Stowe, who did, you know, uh, Uncle Tom's Cabin, uh, was born and grew up in Litchfield. Uh, her father was the the famous uh, temperance movement preacher, uh, uh, Lyman Beecher. Um, but anyway, oh, and you know, the, the guy that started the gunnery school, uh, Frederick Gunn, was also a very prominent abolitionist a lot of abolitionists in in our area um so let's see uh pothier road uh kicks out onto route four uh we're not very far away from um oh, what was it called wright's barn which was uh they used to have oh you know count basie and different dance people used to go to Wright's Barn in the 40s. But uh, this is a wonderful little back road. Uh, this road just about kicks into um, a very long uh, vein that goes back towards Litchfield called uh, Reed Road, Weed Road. Um, and uh, so we're going to be taking all of those. But uh, this road is going to kick us up onto Route 4 for a second. This is the Friday of Labor Day weekend, and the main roads are just full of people. You'll see that when we get to the top of this hill. And um, being a back road person, I just love going along on as much of the little back roads as I can. Gee, you know, it's a few weeks after we had all the electricity go. But uh, there are electric and um, cable and telephone trucks everywhere still. Uh, so this is Route 4 for a very short distance. A miniature distance, really. Yeah, here we are kicking off onto Weed Road. I can always tell because there's that barn on the left. You know, country people always sort of... Uh, say well turn at the pine tree or turn at the the barn and uh you know city people just sort of laugh at us for, for doing it but of course they do the same thing in town they say you know uh turn at the museum <laughs> anyway uh so this is a uh, weed road and there are a lot of sort of newer, uh, you know, well-made houses that have been put up all the way up and down on this road. A little bit further down on the Weed Road, there's uh, sort of the back way to go into Torrington. The way we're doing this, of just staying on the back road, uh, you could go all the way from Warren all the way into Torrington without touching a main road using these little country back roads that people don't notice or see much again 
just, you know, we could count cars as we go, but um, this is Labor Day weekend and there is nobody here. You know, I mean, the few people that live on the road will dr drive along on it. The, the thing you have to be most careful of uh, as the day gets later, for some reason the deer get frisky as, as it gets nearer to dusk, and uh, deer and, oh, I don't know, raccoons, all sorts of things kind of come out into the road later in the day that uh, aren't there usually. Um, and you can get bear sometimes, too. I've had, uh, oh, what do you call them, bobcats as well. I've seen, you know, little, little kitties about the size of a dog with a bobtail. Uh, they're very clever. You don't see them much. And the same with foxes. If you see a fox or a bobcat, they're probably not feeling very well because they're, they're uh, experts at staying out of your way. I have to apologize. This is the same ride that I set this camera up uh, on a slight angle. I, I hadn't noticed that it's on an angle. So the bike isn't leaning over and the hill isn't tilted. This is just me being a, you know, a, a silly person uh, with the setup. But uh, it sure is fun riding these roads. And the, the color, this time of year is just amazing it's we're uh, just before the trees are starting to turn it's uh, September 4th so you know we're we're um, it's late summer as far as the trees are concerned I think it's just amazing that you can do such long distance travel and still you know have a quiet little back road well there's a car <laughs> we're going to be coming out onto the norfolk road here just at the top of this hill this is still just barely in torrington i mean if if you sneezed uh, the straightaway ahead here, where it's light there, it's that's that's Litchfield. Speaking of which, that's the Litchfield school bus. So this is still barely Torrington, but it sort of weaves back and forth into Goshen. And by the time we get to the end of this little bit of road, it'll be in Litchfield, just barely into Litchfield. At the bottom of this hill, what's going to happen is we're going to uh, sort of scoot down to cross Route 63. And on the other side, we're going to be on the Brooks Road. Well, there's a lot to say about the Brooks Road, so I'll start now. Um, if anybody ever goes to Sturbridge Village, they go into the little pottery shop there. It's, it's Hervey Brooks's pottery shop. Well, that was taken off of... Hervey Brooks's farm in the 50s, I think, uh, which is on the Brooks Road. And I'll, I'll say where it is when, when we get there. So here we are crossing 63. Like I say, we're in Litchfield now. You can see the sign off to the right that you could spit into Goshen from here. Well, I guess we don't turn enough to see the sign, but it's right there. Okay, so up on this ridge is where the old uh, New Haven to Troy, oh, I'm sorry, New Haven to Albany Turnpike was. And right here on the right, right there, is where uh, that turnpike crossed. Or is it up here? <laughs> I think it's up here. Oh, darn it. I guess it was back a little bit. But at any rate, at that where it was at the highest spot there, that's where the old turnpike was. And up that driveway is where uh, uh, 
the turnpike went and where the old pottery shop was. So, again, if we just sneezed off to the right there, it would have been Goshen. So we were really traveling right on the line between Litchfield and Goshen. And the rest of this ride will all be in Litchfield. So again, the thing that I'm trying to do here is to get to my house without hitting a main road. And that's what we're up to. Um, we're on uh, Beach Street now. This is sort of the main vein to go from uh, Litchfield up to West Goshen. Lots of nice farms, you know, older, older working farms on this road. Isn't that pretty? So it opens up into all of this land and that farm down low. This this road was being worked on a year or two ago, and I I came through here thinking, oh well, I'm pretty good at the the dirt when they were digging it up, and I hit some sand right about there, and uh, <laughs> I ended up having to get a new shifter for the left hand side of the bike. Uh, I went down in the dirt and uh, took out the shifter on the on the motorcycle. So that was an expensive little uh, thinking I knew more than I knew. This is a wonderful bit of road coming up. Uh, down the way here, there's two really nice old trees on the right. And uh, there's some American flags. I can't remember whether they're made out of wood or... But, you know, there's some sort of craft, art, art, craft, uh, American flags uh, put up on these really two nice old trees. Really great uh, horse farms around here, too. I almost went off on one of the little side roads. That's these two trees up here. That's where the American flag is, right there on that big tree. So we're going to be going off to the right here, which is Osborne. And uh, it's a nice connector. If we went straight, we'd stay on a uh, beach, which would take you, you know, right towards the town. And this is just cutting off a little bit going uh, out to the west. We're going to go towards Milton. When we get on the Milton Road, I'm afraid we're going to be going straight into the sun. But it won't be for long. It won't be for long. Isn't this pretty? I'm so glad they're putting up those signs that tell you that you're coming up to a stop sign. Because uh, if you came up on this too fast, that, that could be not so great. So the Milton Road is a, you know, a connector between Litchfield and the village of Milton. And it also, a lot of people going out towards Goshen and Cornwall will use it. So it's a little busier. It's not so bad, but it's uh, it's a pretty little road. Out, We're going to come up on the Bunnells Farm when we get uh, to the end of uh, the amount of Milton that we're going to stay on. There's a really nice pond off on the left up here. We won't be able to see it, but uh, I don't know if it's a. If it, I know it's a handmade pond, but I don't know if they did it for uh, reservoir water or they did it for, uh, you know, water for a farm. It's funny when you're driving along. Years and years in the car, I had never seen it, and then. There it was one day on the motorcycle. It's amazing the things you see on a bike that don't come up in a car. Oh, the farmland here is just, just great. Oh, here we have, this is uh, the Litchfield um, golf course there on the left.
I love the way this goes up and down. Isn't that pretty, the way it goes up? Yeah, that's not so pretty with the sunlight going into it. Sorry. So there's going to be a big curve. I want... I think this might be where that, that water was that I was talking about. And this is a bad curve. Some There have been some bad things happened on that curve over the years. One of the problems about living in a town your whole life is, you know, some sad stories that you probably would rather not know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there have been, there've been some bad accidents on that curve. So we're coming up on the beautiful Bunnell Farm, which is up here on the right. And the Bunnells have been good to the town of Litchfield for a lot of generations. And uh, some very interesting things go on there. They, they have, you know, weddings for people. And uh, they have, uh, oh, you know, hay rides for the children in the fall. And it's a very nice family. So now we're going off on Maple Street. And this, if you stayed on this, Maple Street goes all the way down to Bantam, to the village of Bantam proper. Uh, but we're going to go off to the, we're going to go down here and then go off on Litwin. And uh, when I go home, I always, if I can figure out a way to end up on Peter Litwin's road, I go on it because they've done such a beautiful job down at the bottom there. I'm glad I got this set on the wider frame. You can see all sorts of stuff. That uh, Yep, see there's one of those signs saying, get ready for a stop. So remember we've had a little bit of Route 4. We've crossed Route 63. And at the end of this drive, we're going to have, you know, like a, a 20th of a mile on Route 202. So it's pretty, pretty amazing to do this distance of travel with, um, without touching, without really using the state roads. Look at this. Oh, it is just a blessing to have the Litwin farm so close by. I mean, how could you ever get tired of that? I am so lucky. You know, I guess there are places in the world where you'd go, gee, I've spent my whole life in this place and Maybe they wouldn't be so happy about it, but uh, I just thank my lucky stars that I get to live where I get to live. So for the fun on the motorcycle, I love going off on Cat Hole Road, which is the one that just went off on the left. But I want to get me the motorcycle as close as I can to the house without going on a main road. So I'm going to, we've gone on Prospect before, but we haven't gone in this direction. So it'll be fun to see uh, the perspective of the road from this side. <laughs> it is so funny having the camera twisted on an angle like that. I'm, I am sorry. I will look more carefully next time. So we're looking at Prospect Mountain. I love that they call a little bump like that a mountain. Uh, you know, here we are in Litchfield County. I guess Litchfield County is called the, the foothills of the Berkshires. And I guess that's a politer way of saying it. It sure isn't a uh, mountain. This hill, when it's springtime, can be a real technical ride. Uh, when we get to the top of this hill, uh, there was a guy named uh, Andrew Gagarin who owned 
uh, a lot of this land and he was very very kind uh, there were two or three people that sort of were interested in real estate that bought up a lot of land around uh, Washington and Litchfield and then gave the land to um, you know trusts so the, the Litchfield Land Trust has a lot of this land but it's there we we have just passed a very nice sort of elderly class classy house off on the left up the hill there and uh, I think that's the place that had all the land that that uh, got this this land trust started so on this corner here there's you can walk through from this road over to cat hole you know even on the on the bike I had to slow down here because of the sun being in my eyes uh, can you imagine living up here uh, in the winter <laughs> I mean sand road and then uh, they must there are a lot of houses on this particular piece of road so they they must have to plow it all winter but uh, wow this piece of road when when we had that wind take out the electricity a few weeks back oh there was stuff down everywhere so that couldn't be any more beautiful I usually wouldn't be going quite so peppy on this kind of road but um, I know this piece of road uh, a lot uh, you know I've it's we're only about a mile and a half from my house now so you know it's I'm, I'm very used to driving this piece of road there's some kings that live here I remember when I was a kid Sally Wright always talked about Kings Corner so I wonder if they're related to the ones that were on the Avalon I never met them enough to to know but uh we're coming up on kubish land all, all the land coming up is going to be the kubish farm and we're getting to the end of the sand so there's the kubishes yeah just beautiful So we're coming off of the prospect now. One of my best friends years back, uh, another banjo player, lived down here on the right. And I remember he wanted to get the house back off the road. So he was digging in the back, and we came over, and we uh, set his, uh, you know, the block for doing a basement. And then he... He picked the thing up and moved it onto the new foundation. So here we are at the bottom of Prospect, coming on to the headquarters. Not headquarters, this is a, a old Turnpike Road. And from the other direction, I think I, I told you that this is the main road over to New Preston, which is the one George Washington rode on when he came through Litchfield and we're going to be crossing 202 that tree right in front of us is part of my yard so here we are wolf pottery dun, da, 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 da. so there's my little pottery shop sylvanius bishop's house it's that was 1761 they say and then uh there's the house and the vegetable garden, a closure too. And then uh, I guess I should be saying my goodbyes because we're going to be turning it off when we get it turned around. Kill sitting there and lots of clays outside because it's the end of the summer. We're getting clay ready from uh, some old batches. All those buckets there are clay that I'm soaking. Okay, everybody. 
thanks for coming along for this ride and uh it was a pleasure doing it and i, I hope somebody has fun looking at it okay all the best bye